version 50 is finally here. I've already gone over two of the new moons in my last video. However, there have been some changes, so I will briefly go back to them. So it looks like Adamant has been updated for flooded weather. It now actually floods. Unfortunately, that means your only options are this very flimsy bridge and the other very, very flimsy bridge. Bridge. Yeah, this this bridge exists now, and it like I said, very flimsy. It breaks if you're like 20 pounds. The loot has been nerfed in here, and I really hope they've nerfed the spawn rates. These whoopee cushions aren't conductive anymore, and they're also worth more, but they're still trash. Goodbye. Oh yeah, another thing, they have changed the slope mechanics. I think going up is not as slow now, and I think going down is the same. But there used to be a thing with going down slopes where if you went down a really steep one, it would do an insane amount of fall damage. They have fixed that now. Also, pulling this thing, it activates every old bird on the map. Holy crap, that scared me. But, okay, this is one of the new enemies. It's just an adorable little guy. It makes you go a lot higher when you jump. This bridge breaks on the amount of times you jump on it. Let's see if I can show you what this guy does on my head. And I jump. The guys that go on your head, they can only lift you if you're, like, not too heavy. I guess the floodwaters were glitched at the beginning because it's all the way down here. There is a shortcut you can take. I'm probably gonna die doing this. I'm dead. That's one of the major flaws with this map. It's really hard to get back to the ship and enemies can really easily camp it. That's all that's really different about Adamant. I'm gonna go to Artifice now. I don't think Artifice has really been changed much. The only thing that I think is different is that it can spawn spike traps now. Oh, I hear one. Hi, I found a friend. What this? Oh, that's not good. The heck was that? Is that a butler? All the birds have music now. If, if you can hear that. It's a spore lizard. Hi, buddy. Oh, it was a, it was definitely a butler. Anyways, there is one last moon that I have yet to explore at all, and that is Embryon. There's a good reason I haven't explored this, and that's the reason. I just didn't know about this at all in the last video, and then once I learned about it, I didn't want to go here ever, so this is my first time. I'm fairly sure this is entirely a lore moon. Well, there's the spike trap. These things have two variants. There's this one, which just smacks down whenever it feels like it and then there's another one that's uh motion detected Ooh, this is a really good example of what i was talking about earlier uh if you pull this out and i were to go outside it's chaos i've already been spotted obviously i am just that good at the game i have definitely not taken a single hit yet and the rocket boosts are helping me get back to the ship a lot Ooh, you, you boosted me a little too far i think i'm good with the help for now guys yeah thank you okay if you go here eclipse this is also what it's gonna look like look at the enemies outside holy crap yeah, anyways that's embryon that's why you never want to go here ever one last thing is that dine has been entirely changed uh, for one, it can now be just rainy, which I think is what it is right now. Yeah, you gotta go this way now. Oh, it's flooded. Okay. They definitely changed it because before, flooded barely affected it, but now, I don't even know if you can go in. I don't know what Zekers was thinking making the flooding worse, because now it's just old dine again. Bells make that noise like I discovered in the last video, and they, they actually attract enemies more than they originally would have. Dine has has a lot less turrets and mines, but instead it has a ton of butlers. Basically, it's not any better than it was before, because butlers kinda suck. I'm sorry, what was that? Probably the creepiest ambience I've heard in this game. It happened again. Dude, he keeps playing. What is that? Okay, that's gotta be new ambience for like mansion maps, because I've not heard that yet. Dude, what is that? That is so- ah. Uh, it's like any time I make any progress in here, it just plays again. Hi. Okay, so this is Butler. Say hi, Butler. Still bursting the bees. Bees still open doors. Although, it does seem to be slower. That is very good. It doesn't change the fact that they can still open doors, and that's really dumb. Butlers take two hits in single player, and like, I think eight hits or something stupid like that in multiplayer. Anyways, you can kind of cheese the giants if it would look this way. You can kind of just cheese the giant by doing this. You might have to bring it back to the ship a few times, but it's a lot easier to do with the knife because you can actually visually see if you're hitting it. Don't get too close because they can still grab you. 
And there we go. So that's all that there is for moons. I'm gonna go back to adamants because I feel like that has the highest spawn rate of the little guys. Tulip snakes, that's what they're called. Oh, yeah, I found the cheese spot. Okay, so it's like a- you gotta go at an angle. I'm not sure if you can do that with- wait, hold on. So if I were to do this with the cash register... Yeah, you can- if you sprint, you can do it. If you're 314 pounds, I don't think you can make it. Also, this looks like it's a safe spot for dogs. Oh wait, you can- okay, if you're 314 pounds, the heaviest you can be in vanilla, I'm I'm pretty sure, you can make it. Hey look, at the tulip snake! Fly me away! It's not working. I have two of them on me now. Oh, it's, I did it! I'm flying! Okay, you can kinda control it. Aww. Tulip snakes are the best. Ah, uh, you can't fly, idiot. Did it kill it? No! My friend! You know what? This calls for action! Oh, you weren't supposed to attack me. This calls for action! Serious action! <laughs> the army! Look at that giant burn. Holy crap, I got launched! Anyways, that's the two of snakes and 20 max. One last thing, I guess, is that you can't one-shot nutcrackers without them shooting anymore. So, if we just wait for this nutcracker to go in it, I don't think it'll do it naturally. Hold on. Oh, yes it does. Okay. So, if I... Oh, wait, maybe it's lag, but I just did it. Then again, it didn't take its step back, so you can't kill them because, I mean, you theoretically could if they couldn't physically back up, but they're gonna back up, and that's gonna cause a slight delay in your hits, and then they're gonna get a shot through, and you're gonna die. Yeah, that's about it. I don't know if I missed anything else. If I did, it's probably not important enough to mention. There's a fourth moon named Liquidation that's not out yet. It's just being worked on, but it sounds cool. So yeah, thank you all for watching. If you you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications and shadows out.